I'm not sure about fun, it's harder because uh, I have a double job. Um, I'm not free and uh, my boss is the film itself. Uh, I've arranged these scores or we're doing scores that have been prepared to synchronize with the film. So my job is to make sure the music fits the film as well as trying to get a very good performance from the, from the orchestra. So I have a double job. When you conduct a piece of concert work, you are your own boss. You, you, you say the way it should go. Uh, and the, the timing of things isn't uh, so critical. There are other things that are more critical um, uh, when you conduct a big uh, classical uh, work, um, uh, other considerations. But um, my prime consideration when I'm conducting a film is uh, to synchronize. Um, we have to recognize that the silent film is a unique body of work. Um, it, it, uh, that deserves a, a, a special attention. Um, and uh, I, I feel that in the work that I started to do of doing these live shows, which began a long time ago now, I've been at it now over 30 years, we began in 1980 with a huge film called Napoleon, um, uh, which we also did here in, in the 1980s. Um, uh, the, uh, that what we think about it, my colleagues and I, is, is that they, they are really unique. They're not like uh, contemporary film. They're nearer somehow to ballet or opera in, in the sense that the orchestra is live. But instead of singers and dancers, you, you have the wonderful things that film can do. You know, it can, uh, for instance, you don't have to change the scenery. You can change like that. You have close-ups, you have montage, you have all sorts of uh, things you could do. But this particular period, um, of silent cinema sort of ended in the late 1920s and um, the, the material really fell into uh, uh, disuse because uh, people wanted sound films and the studios destroyed a lot of the material. So there was this body of work which people have tried to rescue including the cinema takes here. Um, and we thought that it really would be worthwhile to try and show it the way it was done at the time, with a, with a live orchestra, that this would bring it to life. And in doing that, people realized that, that people made really great films in, 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 without sound. They made it with, the, um, with image, and uh, image and music together. And uh, so this was really special. And so the, the, this, visit, uh, this annual visit, which I've made each year since, since uh, as I said, 1987, um, has been restored. This is a success here. It, we, are, we were always full. Of course, you know, the possibility is that it wouldn't be so successful, but you can, you can never tell. But uh, and now people really sort of know it and look forward to it, and, and, and we have good houses for it. The other, the other thing that is, has been a great help just this year was uh, two major Hollywood films that um, were really about uh, silent film and, and how they make a silent film and so on. And one was the Scorsese film, uh, Hugo, and the other was The Artist, you know, which was com completely like one of our films, except the, mu the music isn't played live, it's recorded. But in other ways, it, it is completely like a silent film. There's no dialogue. Um, so we think this is really a great help to, uh, uh, it really is a cause. Well, um, they are related, you know, because they both exist in time. A piece of music runs, a, you know, for a period of time alongside a film that runs. So there's something about music and film that are very happy together. It's a nice marriage, a very good marriage of the two. For my own personal taste, um, uh, I cannot separate uh, that. I always was intrigued by film, but I'm also, I love uh, dance and I love composing for dance. I like concerts. I, you know, I like music in every uh, shape or form. And, uh, you know, film is one of them, but the, the participation of creating scores or reviving scores in the case of City Lights for these films and doing them actually performing them is uh, uh, an unexpected thing to have happened. Um, there is, uh, until I began this, there was no career to be had uh, conducting for silent film or creating silent film. The, we create, my colleagues and I created it, starting with the Hollywood series and the Napoleon and then the circumstances under which we created this uh, amazing repertoire. 
uh, of uh, which we have been exposing each year uh, in Luxembourg as well as the rest of the world. Um, so um, I, for myself, I could say that they are they are part of me uh, in the sense that all the other elements are as well.